Keyware. We wanted to welcome you to a brief preview of our new Keyware for Windows product. We know you have questions, and this preview is just intended to answer your questions and provide you with additional information to help you decide when and if you want to transition to the new Keyware for Windows, as well as how to do so. First, let me introduce one of our Keyware for Windows developers, Lynn Crumbling. Lynn will answer any technical questions and will walk us through the new configuration tool. Also here to answer any of our other questions is Laura Miller, Director of Marketing. Because there are so many questions around the new Keyware for Windows, we thought we'd go right to the source. Laura, why did, why did Keyware build a new Keyware for Windows? Well, as you all know, the original Keyware Lite, Keyware Basic, and Keyware Full for Windows product line, um, it was built on an Internet Explorer browser engine. The original product is not going away. <clears throat> it is, however, being renamed. So this is the, ori um, the original product, Keyware Classic for Windows, uh, is the new name. So moving forward, it's going to be referred to and marketed as Keyware Classic for Windows. Um, and the new product will now, henceforth, be referred to as Keyware for Windows. Um, Keyware Classic predates the existence of Chrome and the widespread distribution of Firefox or Safari. It was built when IE was the standard for web browser-based application design, only as the industry has expanded. As recently as 2012, has IE lost their position as the market behemoth, having greater than 50% of the market share. So in the last few years, IE has not only lost its dominant market share, it's become the second most popular browser to Google Chrome, and other browsers have gathered additional market share. This isn't news to you. You've requested this new Keyware. Um, and to future-proof Keyware Kiosk software, our developers had two options. One was to build a new browser engine into the Keyware Classic product, and the other was to rebuild from the ground up, implementing a framework that would easily allow us to expand and modify browser platform without having to incorporate legacy code or structures that were built because of the original IE compatibility. They chose the latter, and the new Keyware for Windows was built. As you know, it currently runs the Chromium browser engine, the same engine used by Chrome. Laura, will the Keyware Classic licenses be able to transition to the new Keyware? From a technical standpoint, the new Keyware product requires a new installation and new configuration files. This time, the software is installed via a single installer. You download one file for light, basic, or full. So previously, you would download a light file, a basic file, or a full file. Now you'll download one file, and the license version will determine what version you actually own. While technically the new keyword for Windows is a standalone product from a business perspective, we view, and this is the part you care about, we view the new product as an upgrade, and it will be made available to existing clients with current support. As such, we've given the new release version number 8.0. How will current customers decide if they want to make the transition from Keyware Classic? So once the new product is released, Keyware users will want to download the demo trial, uh, free trial as, as per usual, test and configure the new Keyware for Windows. If there are any issues or questions, you'll want to contact support for clarification and assistance. As with any new product, there may be a learning curve. Once users are satisfied that it supports their needs, they can request that we transition their licenses from Keyware Classic to the new Keyware for Windows by logging into their customer account. So you'll log into your customer account and submit a transition request. And if you look at the screen, you can see um, within your customer account where it says want to convert your Keyware Classic for Windows licenses to the new Keyware for Windows, uh, there will be a transition licenses button. And, and you'll see this if you have current support. Um, and when you go to transition your licenses, you'll submit a request. We'll turn off your existing Keyware Classic licenses and turn on the new Keyware licenses. And I know you'll have questions about that, and we'll hopefully be able to get to those at the end. <clears throat> so what's different other than the Chrome browser support? There's a few things that you'll notice when configuring the new Keyware for Windows. You'll no longer need to load a settings from a file. All settings changes will be saved immediately. As usual, you'll be prompted to set your start page URL. Note that your existing Keyware Classic XML configurations will not work here. The new format will allow resources such as images, HTML files, add-ins, and more to be included or packaged into the configuration file itself. You'll no longer have to deploy your custom content manually. The other tabs are consistent with the Keyware Classic config tool, with the exception of external devices, which is 
been developed but has not yet been integrated into the config tool GUI, and phone support, which isn't immediately planned. We have added a tab for debugging to make it easier for your web developer to connect to the Kiowa Chrome instance and identify and resolve issues. Moving on to the keyboard tab, you can see that the new keyboard configuration is visual and simple to use. Administrators can block all or allow all keys, set to the recommended list, all with a single click. The toolbar editor has also seen some major changes and is still being developed. You can easily add images and custom links, set forward and back buttons, and more. Previously, toolbars could not incorporate your own HTML pages. The new HTML-based toolbar allows for simple configuration and supports an advanced, fully customizable toolbar HTML toolbar design. In Keyword Classic for Windows, the user interface was limited to a single full-screen browser. With the new Keyword for Windows, additional browser windows can be configured to display advertisements, your home page, and any other multi-browser scenario that needs to be accommodated. For example, you could dock a weather uh, pane on the bottom. The new product brings tabs to the table. Tabbed browsing didn't exist in Keyword Classic. In the new product, there are configuration settings to allow you to con control if you want the window to be open as a tab or a pop-up. In its default configuration, Keyword behaves in the exact same way as Chrome. So if it would open as a tab under Chrome, it'll be open as a tab under Keyword, pop-up, same thing. Integrated into the new product is a pop-up ACL, an access control list, which allows you to prevent pop-ups from opening based on domain or allow the pop-up to open with certain restrictions, such as flattening the content. Instead of opening up a pop-up, it'll actually browse to it. This was previously supported as an add-in that was available for Keyword Classic, but was not integrated directly into it. Now it is. Finally, external devices at launch will certainly provide external device support for a number of MagStripe readers. Additional external device support will follow. The Keyword Classic for Windows product currently supports hundreds of external devices. The new Keyword product will be adding new devices regularly based on customer demand. So now we'd like to try something new. I'm hoping that you can see the poll that just popped up uh, asking you if you're, um, what external devices you'd like to see. So if your application or deployment will require a particular external device or there's a particular device you'd like to see us support, uh, please type the name or models into the poll. You can also follow up this call by emailing your list of devices to support at keyware.com with the note, new keyware external device request. Uh, and we know that there are some of you that have many external device requests, so um, those conversations should be had with our support team in order to, to better uh, sort of plan our external device rollout and, and make sure that we're accommodating those who are the most in need of external devices. Um, and we'll give you another minute to sort of start typing those in if you if you have external devices that you want to see added. What will happen with the Keyword Classic for Windows product? Okay, so while you're adding your external device list, um, our Keyword Classic for Windows product will still be available for purchase, download, and licensing. Bug fixes and other extended support will continue to be available while Microsoft continues to support IE. As you know from our previous slide, we talked about Edge being the new Microsoft browser, so we'll see more of that and less of IE uh, as time goes on. So we will continue to support the product with additional releases and bug fixes, and new product features will be limited to the new Keyword for Windows products. Uh, there may be exceptions with regard to external devices for those that have add-ins that are not supported on the new Keyword for Windows, uh, uh, Keyword Classic for Windows, uh, we'll, we'll continue to see um, new features, or bug fixes and, and additional releases. The new Keyword for Windows will see extensive, extensive expansion as we add, add new external devices regularly, so you can expect to see new releases of this product more often uh, than the Keyword Classic product. When will it be available? Um, we're shooting for July 1st, or within the next two weeks, um, being our anticipated public launch. Um, so it's at least two weeks away. Looking for July 1st, it may be uh, soon after that, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to, to get that out to you all soon. The beta version, if there is anything that we can release in advance of that date, you will be the first to know. Um, and other than that, we are certainly going to be interested in hearing more from you. Um, Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to hear about our changes. 
if you have additional questions, we um, we can open up to questions, and or um, if you have additional questions, you can ask them offline as well, and you can call into Christina or our main line, um, or email sales at keyword.com or support at keyword.com. And now I am going to.